strong. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Blackpink Friday. Today we are checking out Kill This Love EP. But before we do that, let's listen to my favorite from last week, Really. I really, <laughs> wow, I need to stop doing that. I enjoy this song a lot. If you really really by Blackpink from their Square Up single album and the single album of the day is Kill This Love aka my new favorite Blackpink project. Yes, Square One has been dethroned. My favorite Blackpink project so far but I will say really stays as my favorite Blackpink song at the moment. I'm so excited to check out more music from them. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself a lot. The first thing I enjoyed with this is that I've heard strong Blackpink from all the other projects that I've checked out. But this one, this one is a different black pink. This one is still a softer black pink, but still with the sass that comes with them. And I enjoy that. I think my favorite type of, of black pink song is that soft song that is not really soft because 
there's still the strong energy that comes from their identity as Blackpink. And I enjoy that so much. They have a way of making soft song sound strong, but still being soft. I don't know how to explain this in a proper way, but yeah. I enjoyed myself. I I cannot say this enough. I enjoyed myself so much. And also another thing that I really appreciate this this one also have more than two songs yeah <laughs> it's not a crime give me more music i want more music i will consume it give me more blackpink music give me more this type of blackpink music as well i enjoy it for me the perfect blackpink album would be a compilation of songs like Bumbaya, kill this love do 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 and then you do you throw in playing with fire type of songs really hope not don't know what to do this will be such a perfect project i am so excited <laughs> for what what is coming next and i have went and watched more blackpink content aka blackpink house um some funny moments some more guides Without spoiling myself, because I know a couple of the members have solo projects, but yeah, I don't want to check that out now. I still want to go in the specific order. And I think right now I am so confused, but I have decided that Blackpink as a whole is my bias. Because this week, oh my God, I enjoyed Rosie. I love Rosie's personalities personality so much and Jenny is just so, so cute and Lisa Lisa just grabs my attention and Jisoo 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 oh my god I love Jisoo so Blackpink is my bias right now but in this album I also have a top two in second place we have don't know what to do Jump
Was don't know what to do. I love the song because it shows that Black Pink is not just do do do. Black Pink is also a power vocal group. And a couple episodes back of Black Pink Friday, I was saying that what I want in the next project is more vocal centric song, and this song gave me exactly that. I like the fact that they can actually show they're not a one trick pony in the sense that they only know how to do one specific type of songs. Obviously, previous projects have proven that there is a specific sound that they go for constantly. But aside from that, they also have other sides to themselves. My personal wish is that they could actually do a project that is 50-50. So go with your usual high energy, strong woman type of vibe, girl crush type of songs, but give me this as well. Because when you do this, it's also amazing. And something, I've been watching a lot of Blackpink for the past week, and I've watched their own content, fan made content, a lot of black a variety, di- a diverse. Is it me if my English is not my functioning? A diversity <laughs> of black pink content from different type of sources, and unfortunately, the things that black pink are, are known for when people tell you about Blackpink, their vocal never come first. And I think it's a shame because they have songs like this that shows that there's so so much potential in this group. There's so much talent and they have so much to offer. They're not just the kill this love type of girl. They also, they are also girls that can Women, why am I saying girls? <laughs> Women, <sighs> wow, my English is leaving me again. But nevertheless, let's move on. <laughs> they are women that can do this type of music, and I enjoyed this album for that. I think this is also one of the main reasons why this album is my favorite right now. It's because it really confirmed to me what I already suspected that they can do vocal centric centric song as beautiful and as perfectly as they do their girl crush type of concept. And I'm so satisfied with this particular EP. Right now it's my favorite. Really though still stays my favorite song, but this album is just wonderful. And my Top favorite song, number one, first place on the album is Hope Not. I'm 
This was Hope Not, my favorite song in this album. If you can tell, I, I just want to tell you that Soft Black Pink is my favorite Black Pink. They just hit different for me. I don't know how to explain it, but this, this was beautiful. And I enjoyed myself so much. I would say right now my top three black piece, black pink songs will be number one really number two hope not number three don't know what to do <sighs> please make more music like this in the future I don't know what's coming next but I really enjoyed it I really really enjoyed myself and this album is ends down my favorite right now I hope they continue making a mix of soft music and hard hitting ones. But personally, this is my favorite type of Blackpink. And that's it for me today. I really enjoyed myself today. I really enjoy talking about projects that I love. And if you enjoy enjoyed any of the songs today, or you just want to hear, you never heard those songs from Blackpink before, or you're a Blackpink stan and this is also your favorite album, or you are another group stan and you never heard those songs before, just don't hesitate and go to the description box and click on the link. Just go and listen to this album from yourself. I guarantee you a wonderful, wonderful time. You won't regret it. Really, really urge you guys to go. And if you are, by any chance, a Blackpink stan, just leave a comment below and tell me what was your favorite song in this project. I am so curious. And also tell me who is your Blackpink bias. Or if you like me and you can choose, just leave a like on the video. That's it. Bye. I wish you a wonderful weekend.